So, uh, welcome back to this channel. Uh, so, for every birthday of mine, I like to change up my config, make it look pretty, and essentially prepare for the year that's about to come. And this year, I was feeling in a monokai mood. I usually use Growbox. I am a Growbox kind of a guy. My original color scheme for NeoVim has always been Retrobox. Although, uh, for my birthday, I decided to go with uh, Monokai Pro. And as you can see, all of my NeoVim is configured to be exactly that. I can open up any window, even a floating window, and it would still support the Monokai Pro color scheme. Everything is completely transparent. As you can see, even the breadcrumbs uh, <laughs> are uh, transparent. And uh, yeah. So, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set this up using NeoVim, Westerm, and Tmux. So, with that being said, let's get started. I uh, hope you have a good one. So, uh, this is my Westerm terminal right now. This is what you get by default. I don't even have a configuration yet. The .westerm.lua file doesn't even exist yet. However, once we are done, this would look so much cool. So, uh, first up, all of the software that I'm using right now, I'll put the links in the description. But just to put it out there, the terminal is Westerm. My text editor is NeoVim. And I use Tmux for a terminal multiplexer. Okay. So, let's set it up. First, let us open up westerm.lua. Uh, this is where we will be writing all of our configuration for westerm so that it looks really pretty. Right. So, uh, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to say westerm is require westerm. As Copilot says, this is actually just requires the westerm module. And we, should, we must also define a config which is just westerm.config builder and once that is defined you can go ahead and put in your font so i really like this font called space mono it looks really nice and monokai because i don't know why but it does look really nice and i usually like to have a higher font size for aesthetic stuff and here I would like to show you a Westerm theme. Now, Westerm comes inbuilt with a lot of themes that you can just directly reference into the uh, the the config file itself. So let me actually show you the one that we will be using, which is called Monokai Remastered. This one right here. It look it has a really dark Monokai vibe, which I really really like. So we will be using that. So to use that, all we have to do is copy paste this from the site. And the, here are some other options that I usually like to have. So all this one does is uh, it hides the tab bar if there is only one tab. And I also like my tab at the bottom. And I use fish terminal for my default program. So there. And then we just return the config. There we go. And now, all we have to do is restart Westerm. And there you go. That's what opening up your Westerm looks like now. We have Space Mono as the font and everything else beautifully positioned. I already have quite a good pre configured NeoVim. So, this is my NeoVim. This currently uses a uh, grove box retro box as a terminal color scheme which comes in built with the uh, neovim so that's that and it all and it uses i think it's called slim bar <laughs> so we must also configure that okay so the first step is to get into neovim slash lua and let's create a monokai.lua file 
and this is where we will return a config to lazy.nvim that will tell it where to look for the color scheme. The one I will be using is called Monokai Pro. If I can just show that to you guys, this is Monokai Pro. It is available at this URL, which I will be leaving in the description. Uh, you can just go ahead they have to have a lot of varieties as you see as you can see it looks really pretty and i really like it and it has support for a bunch of plugins some of which we will be using like lua line or cmp or even barbecue so let's see uh okay so it doesn't really provide information of how to use lazy but that's okay all we need is this and once we have that, we can come back to our config, paste that in, uh, give it a higher priority because it is generally recommended that you give color schemes a higher priority just for the aesthetics. And now that we have the uh, require, we can just do this, send that in. All right, and now if you look in the actual options, uh, you can see that they have a transparent background equal to false set by default. We want to set it to true. I usually like to set terminal colors to false, but we will not be doing that right now. Uh, the styles can all be the same. Although in the background clear, this actually defines which plugins backgrounds has to be clear so it works well with transparent background so for now let's yoink this and paste it here okay and now we can say background clear and give it a table that has telescope uh inventory the renamer and i think they have a bunch more options Let's check them out. Yes, okay, so renamer and telescope are by default. I also want any floating windows to have a clear background as well as which tree because I use that a lot. Uh, yes, and buffer line as well. All right, so let's do that. Uh, buffer line. buffer line and along with that which key perfect so this is all that we will be needing so now if we restart it whoop uh, we forgot to actually uh, set the color scheme so to do that all you need to do is say vim dot cmd color scheme is i forget what does this color scheme look like does it uh okay so that's monokai pro spectrum monokai pro spectrum there we go and on restarting this there you have it we have our perfectly cool looking monokai color scheme looking good Oh, and if you're wondering how I have a transparent background by default, I use a NeoVim plugin called Transparency, transparent.nvim, uh, which gives me the command transparent enable, which enables the transparency. So, uh, the link for this will be in the description as well. So, now that we have uh, set up our NeoVim, to well look like this uh, the next up is our tmux so to actually configure tmux you would first require a tmux plugin manager which here we'll be using tpm or tmux plugin manager you can go ahead and install it from their clone tpm command and you will be set to go and now with that all we all that's left to do is open up the tmux.con oh also let me show you how tmux currently looks like so this is what it looks like not bad uh 
but this is probably not as aesthetic as you would like it to be right so let us kill the server and let us edit out tmux.conf so the first things first right after you install tmux uh, tpm you will have to set the tmux plugin and along with that i also like to set up my uh, default shell to be fish and this is really important this right here overrides the default terminal colors so your tmux colors actually look like they were intended to and not some weird stuff all right uh next things next uh these are some small customizations that i like to make i like to uh, have the status bar at the bottom and also i like to set up v mode although i guess uh, for now we don't really have need the status bar to be bottom all of this should be good to go okay and now for the main player which will actually shock quite some people we will be using rowspine.tmux which sets up uh, a rowspine based window for tmux that looks something like this now if you are not really into the whole uh, minimalistic monokai aesthetic and you are more into the bubbly monokai uh aesthetic i do have another plugin for you so i am giving you the option between choosing either one of them uh there is another tmux plugin from the same author as the neowim plugin that i had coincidentally showcased in another video called monokai pro.tmux which looks something like this so this is from the same author as the monokai pro so uh, if you're looking for a whole nice tied in system i would uh, recommend you go with this this looks pretty good too as you can see it has nice little uh, bubbles as this thing right there i feel it's a bit too excessive for me but some people love it so you do you we will be using rosepine.tmux and customizing it to have a monokai feel uh, by right now they have main uh moon and dawn we will be adding our very own color scheme to this so let's see how you do that okay so with that being said now all that's left to do is set this and open tmux and install okay now with the plugins installed like this as you can see we didn't really get any change in the environment because well to do that you need to go back to your tmux configuration and actually add in this little line which uh, specifies to those point which variant you want to use in this case let's go with main and yep as you can see we get our uh, nice little status bar right there we set this to top there we go so now that we have our status bar at the top and a rose pine theme you can have this as is if you want and it will still look pretty good but what i like to do is go into dot tmux slash plugin slash rose pine dot tmux which is where this theme is actually installed and set in this little line of code that i uh sourced from the the colors are sourced directly from the monokai pro website so i'll be leaving this in the description as well so you can just go over and copy paste it into this path and it will look fabulous so if you have set this you can just go into your tmux.conf and set the rosepine variant to monokai uh, restart and there you go you have the monokai colors looking all pretty and nice uh, as you can see there it is exactly the color of our terminal and it looks really awesome
So now if I open up Tmux, this is how it looks like. And this is NeoVim. I can even open up uh, some NeoVim plugin. It will look exactly the way I want it to. I can even open up LazyGet and it looks awesome. So this right here is my setup. So hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.